In 1451 AD, a goldsmith named Johann Gutenberg invented the printing press by perfecting earlier printing methods. Gutenberg, who resided in Mainz, Germany, developed the printing press by elaborating on Chinese techniques. In 1045 AD, movable type printing was invented in China by P. Shang. Movable type printing uses blocks of metal or wood with raised letters to print. However, movable type was deemed impractical due to the large number of Chinese characters. Gutenberg invented the printing press by successfully applying Chinese techniques to the alphabet. The Gutenberg printing press changed the world for it served as a match that ignited many successful rebellions and new practices. The printing press made it much easier to spread ideas and was the most powerful weapon in a time of war. People like Martin Luther used the press to spread new ideas. A desire to read and understand texts resulted from this, leading to reforms like laws regarding banned books. The printing press radically changed the development of books, which were previously possessed only by the rich and privileged of Europe. Prior to its development in 1451, European scribes copied books, which was an expensive and tedious process. It took scribes about five months to copy one book. In the same amount of time, a printing press could produce 500 of them. This lowered production costs of books, making them more available to people. The printing press dramatically increased the output of books and lowered printing costs, making it an effective way to spread ideas. The power of the press helped spread ideas about religion. In 1455, Johann Gutenberg published a version of the Bible with his press. Known as the Gutenberg Bible, this allowed Europeans to interpret the Bible on their own instead of priests and other church officials doing it for them. People could then draw their own conclusions based on those interpretations. Europeans also used the printing press to challenge religion. In 1517, Martin Luther published his 95 Theses in Wittenberg, Germany. The ideas contained in the document, which challenged the power and role of the Catholic Church, spread like wildfire with the use of the printing press. Humanists also used the press to share their ideas about the same topic. Humanists believed that people had the potential to achieve without the Catholic Church always taking control. In about 1519, Desiderius Erasmus, a Dutch humanist from Rotterdam, published his Colloquia. Colloquia brought about issues like the abuse of the Catholic Church. The combined ideas of Martin Luther and humanists such as Erasmus caused people to question the power and position of the Catholic Church leading to the Protestant Reformation. As more books became available, an interest to read and understand text increased. Prior to the development of the printing press, nearly all books were written in Latin, the language of ancient Rome and Europe's well-educated people. However, some authors like Dante Alighieri, an Italian author who lived during the 1300s and wrote the Divine Comedy, wrote in the vernacular, which is a person's native language, and other authors followed his example. By writing in the vernacular, people who didn't understand Latin could read works written in their native language. Along with positive human reactions like the increased desire to read and understand texts, the printing press also produced some negative ones. Plagiarism became a huge issue in European society, which caused problems. Around 1503, the printers of Lyon were counterfeiting works created by Greek and Roman authors. This angered a Venetian printer named Aldus Minutius, who sent out a series of complaints and warnings towards the counterfeiters. The issue of plagiarism later led to the development of copyright laws. Gutenberg's printing press also sparked several reforms in Europe. To quench flames of rebellion created by reformers like Martin Luther, the Catholic Church and Council of Trent devised a set of rules ordering that particular books be banned. 
they created the document Ten Rules Concerning Prohibited Books, drawn up by the fathers, chosen by the Council of Trent, and approved by Pope Pius, as cited from Modern History Source Book. The books of those heresiarchs who, after the aforesaid year, originated or revived heresies, as well as of those who are or have been the heads or leaders of heretics, as Luther, Zwingli, Calvin, Balthasar, Friedberg, Schwenkfeld, and others like these, whatever may be their name, title, or nature of their heresy, are absolutely forbidden. The books of other heretics, however, which deal professedly with religion, are absolutely condemned. Those, on the other hand, which do not deal with religion and have by order of the bishops and inquisitors been examined by Catholic theologians and approved by them are permitted likewise catholic books written by those who afterward fell into heresy as well as by those who after their fall returned to the bosom of the church may be permitted if they have been approved by the theological faculty of a catholic university or by the general inquisition these rules were made as an attempt to maintain the power and authority of the catholic church Reforms like sets of rules regarding banned texts resulted from the development of the printing press. The printing press radically changed the development of books and the spread of ideas. New Catholic laws and the Protestant Reformation resulted from it. Eventually, the printing press changed society a whole ocean away. Reformers armed with it helped ignite the American Revolution. In 1776, Thomas Paine's Common Sense was published, urging colonists to fight in the American Revolution and rebel against England. Gutenberg's printing press played a key role in the American Revolution by challenging English ideas. Without it, our world might be a completely different place. 